thanks for tuning in. My name is Samantha and this is my Chocolate Lab Sadie and today we're going to show you how to give a dog a bath. Now we are very fortunate to have this walk-in tub which makes it really easy but there are a couple of products regardless of the style of tub or shower that you have that I would recommend. The first is this shower head. This is from MIU Pet. It stretches, it attaches to, all you have to do is take your shower head off and it attaches to that same fixture and it stretches and makes it really easy for you to get in there and give your dog a bath. Um, you can see these little nodules here that help to work the water down through your pet's coat and I've done a full review on that product so you can check that out here um, if you want to or click the link below the video if you want to watch this one first. I also have this shower hair drain catcher. You can grab these on Amazon really cheap and it just makes catching all that pet hair uh, that settles in a lot easier. And then you're also going to want your dog shampoo. I'll talk about that in a minute. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, brush your dog before you bathe them. That will help remove any tangles and a lot of the shed hair that would come out and go into your drain. But no matter how good you brush them, that shed hair is going to come out. So you want to grab a hair catcher um, just to try to catch as much as possible so that you're not clogging your drain with pet hair. Um, and then you want your shampoo. So don't use human shampoo or human grooming products ever on your pets. Dogs have a different pH, their skin has a different pH, and so you're going to want to make sure that you have a shampoo specifically for dogs. The first thing you're going to do is get the water temperature right. Now dogs are more sensitive than we are to heat, so you want to make sure you have lukewarm water. Um, they sense heat stronger than we do, so water that you think might be uh, you know, warm or good like shower temperature for you is actually going to be too warm for your pet. So just get a lukewarm water and then you're going to rinse your dog. Um, and again, you know, this device makes it really easy to do, so that's why I recommend it. You're going to rinse your dog all over. Now usually I close the door so Sadie can't get out, but uh, for the purpose of this video we're not doing that. So I'm going to kind of give her like a, just a nice short quick run through of a bath and then I'll give her a complete bath once I'm done with you guys. So once they're thoroughly rinsed, you want to make sure you rinse all their legs all the way underneath and up here by their head and neck as well. Um, I like, again, the MIU pet shower because I can get up in there, you can see that it bends, I can get in there for their neck, I can get under their belly um, and get them rinsed really easily. So that makes it nice for me. Once you're done, you're going to put a line of dog shampoo down your pet's back and you're just going to work that in really well. You want to make sure that you're working it all the way down their skin, get your hands in there. You want to wash again all down the legs, underneath their belly, get up into their armpits, making sure that you're getting every single part of their body. So what I like to do is um, apply a small amount of shampoo to my hands once I've done their back. I just put a little on my hands and then we can rub it together like you would human shampoo and just get in underneath their belly. Make sure you're getting, like I said, in those cracks, nooks and crannies, the armpits, every area of your dog's body. And you're going to want to keep working the shampoo through their coat for 10 to 15 minutes. And that'll really allow it to get in, get down to their skin, clean all those oils that are necessary. While if you've got a dog shampoo, it's going to be keeping the pH balance of their skin and keeping those necessary oils to really clean them well and give them a nice healthy shine. When you're doing your dog's head and neck, you're going to want to stay away from the face. So do underneath the neck, do the sides, do the top. You want to stay away from, you can do around the ears if you want, but you don't want any water getting inside the ear. So stay away from that area, stay away from the head because once you rinse, that's going to run right down on your dog's face and you don't, even dog shampoo made specifically for dogs, you don't want it anywhere near their eyes, their mouth, their nose. So what I would recommend is giving your dog a bath completely like this from kind of the neck down and then when they get out, use grooming wipes or a washcloth to clean around their face and underneath their chin. So once you've been doing that for 10 to 15 minutes, it's time to rinse. This is a really important step of bathing your dog. 
because you want to make sure that you're rinsing everything really thoroughly leaving any soap residue in your pet's fur is going to have that uh, build up and it's going to lead to itching and it could even actually cause a rash if you don't make sure that you're rinsing well. So you want to make sure you're just getting all of that out, running your fingers through, making sure that all of that soap is out. If you're going back through, rinsing your fingers and you're seeing any soap left, keep going back and rinse, rinse, rinse until it's all gone. Once you've done the bathing part, it's time to dry your pup. I have done this video, which you can check out on how to dry your dog, and it talks more in depth about drying your dog with a towel or using a uh, either a professional dog dryer if you can afford one of those, um, or just a human hair dryer. Either way, if you're using a dryer, you want it on the lowest setting possible. As I mentioned, dogs are a lot more sensitive to heat than we are. So when you put a dryer on high heat for your hair and it doesn't burn your skin, it may burn your dog. So be very, very careful. Again, check out that video guide if you're considering using a dryer with your dog. I prefer to use a towel, as you can tell. I think Sadie likes it better too because I'm just rubbing her and petting her and kind of massaging her as I go along. And when you're drying your dog, you want to make sure, again, just like when you wash, go through all those areas that you wash. Get in underneath the armpits, get all those little nooks and crannies under the belly, make sure you're drying the legs, make sure that you're drying the paws, because your dog's been standing in the water this whole time. So lift the paws up, give those paws a nice little dry. Now, as I mentioned, you want to try to make sure that no water gets in the ears. But if they do, just take a dry piece of the towel or dry washcloth and gently dry inside the ears. You don't want to press down really hard. Just make sure you get the ear flap, dry inside there a little bit and all around the outside of the ear flap. You're drying underneath here. Now you can click the link below the video for our extensive dog grooming guide for some how-to tips and tricks for grooming your dog at home if you're looking for more information on the entire grooming process. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to email us at any time and be sure to click below uh, and like and subscribe to our channel and that way you won't miss any future content. Thanks for watching guys.